All right, guys, now I was just filming and I was seeing how waterproof it is now. <laughs> we just stopped, you would have seen it getting dunked in there. It just stopped, but it's nothing to do with the car because the car comes uh, ready to, uh, not ready to run, it comes, you need to in install your own electronics. So I think the uh, FlySky receiver gave, uh, gave up. Yep, that's all it was. I got home, blew out the good old FlySky receiver, and here we go. Everything is working as it should, so quick overview, there we go. I think it works pretty good. Um, I got home, I uh, took it all out, I didn't have the Allen keys to, there's four screws that hold down your sort of receiver box, uh, just here. So took that out, give it a bit of a blow down, and uh, it's all good, everything works as it should. There's the uh, standard axial, I think this one comes with the SCX2, SCX, SCX10 2. So that's the stock running gear. I've got a Savox waterproof servo there and uh, just a basic FlySky receiver. These are, I've got so many of these, these are great. They're like, I think you get them for like $8 each. So again, for all my runners, I'm running a 5200 milliamp hour 100C uh, shorty pack, which is more than enough, it's two cell. And uh, Dean's, oh sorry, XT90 connectors, but everything works. I thought that's all it would be. Um, generally, that's the simplest thing that will go wrong, but leave it dry out a bit. Hope you enjoyed that uh, video. Let's get back to where it was before. We went fully underwater. The uh, ESC is still good. It's axial, so and the Savox servo is still good, so waterproof. Just not too sure about that uh, receiver, but as you see, it looks pretty cool. It does handle quite well. First time out, and uh, I think it looks great. But anyway, link to the description when you go check it out. It's no fault of the car for stopping. I'm pretty sure it's just the uh, receiver that's a bit kaput and a bit too drenched in water. 
Now, I'm not too sure if those fly sky ones are waterproof, but whatever, we'll dry it out. They're dime a dozen, they're like $8 each, so happy days. Hope you liked the video, although it's fairly short, and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.